Salutations crustaceans, I'm Lobster and today we're going to be checking out my craziest Stingray mod project yet. Let's do this. This is Project Code Red. What once started life out as a Sterling Ray 4 double humbucker, the new 2021 model with the poplar bodies and the candy apple red finish, is now a base machine. The only original parts that remain from the stock base out front are the body and neck. Everything else has been replaced from the bridge, the pickups, the electronics, the tuners, the pick guard, everything. Starting with the electronics, we have two EMG MMTW pickups. These are the ones with the coil tap. Each pickup has an individual push-pull knob that allows for a single coil mode with hum cancelling for each pickup, giving you eight different pickup combinations total. The neck pickup coil tap is paired with the master volume control, and the bridge pickup coil tap is paired with the master tone control. Next to that, we have an EMG BTC two-band preamp. So we have a master volume, master tone, two-band preamp there. Now you may be wondering, how do I select the pickups? Well, I took out the five-way switch that comes standard and replaced it with an EMG three-way switch, giving you the option of the neck pickup, bridge pickup, or both of them together. That three-way switch combined with the two different pickup modes for each pickup gives us eight different pickup combinations total. And then we have the tone control and the treble and bass control on top of that. So a lot of flexibility here. And these are some high-end parts. The bridge is from the brand Allbridge. I really like these bridges. I put them on my sires as well, and I find them to be very high quality and they look nice as well. They are high mass bridges. They are much better than the stock bridges that you can get and much better than the eBay knockoff bridges that are pretty much your only option in regards to aftermarket bridges for a Stingray, unless you wanna go with a more traditional shape. But Allbridge has you covered. This is a really nice Stingray style bridge that fits right in. It did require a little bit of drilling as the stock bridge has three holes in a line and the Allbridge bridge is using five holes, kind of a fender style. Three of the holes did line up, no problem, and I just had to drill two additional holes, screw them in, not a problem, very easy. Up at the headstock of this 21 fret maple maple neck, we have Hipshot Ultralight tuners. These are very nice tuners, and I like to add them to any project base. The licensed tuners are about $20 a pop or so, $20 to $25, and I think they're well worth it for balancing an instrument versus the stock heavier tuners that are kind of not great. Other than that, the control plate I got off of eBay for about $10. It's just a Black Music Man control plate, and the pick guard was a custom job. It's actually made for a US-made uh, double humbucker stingray, which has a different pickup shape. So uh, you kind of notice there's a little bit of a gap there. Uh, you can't really see it, and it's not that big of a deal. I'm happy with the end result, and I don't think you can really notice the little gaps between the nubs on the pickup. So overall, I'm happy with the aesthetic result, but how does it sound? You guys know what you need to do. Go ahead and hit that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. Very nice. That was with the tone at 100%, the preamp centered, and the pickup selector centered as well. So we would have both pickups on full. Let's start going through the different configurations and let's start out with the neck pickup. <laughs> a 
Very nice, very nice. That is the Music Man pickup at the neck position, soloed in humbucker mode. Let's see what that sounds like in single coil. I think with the neck pickup in single coil mode, you definitely get a lot more high end clarity and almost an old schoolish kind of sound, almost like a, a P bass a little bit, you know. I dig it, I dig it a lot. Let's play with this tone control a little bit and bring it down to about uh, 50%. You know what? Let's try to give it a little bit more thump and boost the bass to about 50% as well. I dig it. Let's go the opposite route, turn the tone back up to 100%, bring the bass to about a 50% cut, and crank the treble. I dig it, you can kind of get some clank. <laughs> Let's go ahead and bring the preamp back to center and move the pickup selector from position one to position three and we're just going to check out the bridge pickup by itself now. This is in the traditional Stingray sweet spot so you can expect to get some Stingray-ish tones out of this bass. Though keep in mind, these pickups are not voiced to be a vintage style pickup. This is a very modern instrument and not meant to be a real like old school Stingray kind of bass. This is meant to be something completely different. So keep that in mind. <laughs> Definitely sounds like a stingray though, definitely. <laughs> pickup in humbucker mode, let's bring the tone down to about 50%, see what that sounds like. <laughs> I dig it, I dig it a lot. Now let's turn the tone back up, pull the tone knob, and we're going to engage single coil mode on the bridge pickup. Let's see what that sounds like. Let's get a jazz bassy bridge pickup kind of vibe out of this. Let's bring the tone down to about 100%. Hey, why not?
Very nice, very nice. Gonna bring the tone all the way back up, bring the pickup back into humbucker mode, and let's bring the pickup selector to the center position where we have both pickups full in humbucker mode. Here's what that sounds like. With both pickups engaged, we have a total of four different pickup configurations to choose from. We have both pickups in humbucker mode, both pickups in single coil, neck pickup in single coil, bridge pickup in humbucker mode, and then flip it around. Bridge pickup in single coil, neck pickup in humbucker mode. That's a lot, but we're going to check them all out right now. Let's start out with both pickups in humbucker mode. <laughs> <laughs> I dig that a lot. That's a really nice, just fat, good tone. And you can really mold it with this two band preamp and the tone control. Now, humbuckers generally sound a bit fatter and less defined than what you would get from a single coil pickup, which has a bit more high end and clarity. So they're already a bit, I guess, muffled. Muffled isn't the right word, but they're already humbuckery and you have two of them, so it's already a pretty fat tone. Let's see what happens when we add some treble as the tone is already at 100%. Here's what that sounds like with the treble at 100% as well, 100% boost. Not bad, but a little on the harsh side with the treble at 100%. Let's use the tone control, bring that down to about 50%, see what that sounds like. Very nice, very nice. Let's go ahead and center the preamp, bring the tone up to 100%, and set both pickups to single coil now. <laughs> Very nice, very nice. Definitely has a completely different voice versus both pickups being in humbucker mode. You have a lot more, I guess, clarity and almost a jazz bassy kind of feel, but the pickup positions are a bit different versus that of a jazz bass, so it's not going to sound exactly like a jazz bass. It does sound very nice, however. Next, let's put the neck pickup in humbucker mode, leaving the bridge pickup in single coil. <laughs> This is one of my favorite configurations when you have both pickups engaged. You get the fatness of the neck pickup humbucker, but also the crisp definition of the bridge pickup in single coil mode. I like this a lot. Now let's flip it and have the neck pickup in single coil mode and the bridge pickup in humbucker mode. <laughs> Very 
very nice. I like that a lot as well. Now let's go ahead and throw some drums behind this bass and I'll be slapping it as well with all eight pickup configurations. Let's get started.
Whew, that was a lot. Eight different pickup configurations with these two EMG MMTW pickups paired with a master volume, master tone control, and an EMG BTC preamp. That's a two band stacked preamp, a treble and bass control that gives you cut and boost. Now this is the same pickup that is featured in my FGN Mighty Jazz Dark Evolution in the bridge position there. I like that pickup a lot, so I snagged two of them for this project, and I think it was a great idea. I think this bass sounds really cool. It's not really a traditional Stingray, but I think it gets a lot of really nice and very usable tones. I like it a lot, and I think the aesthetic is also very nice. I really like the look of these all bridge Music Man style bridges, and the installation wasn't too bad. It did require some drilling though, as I mentioned before. I like the look though, and I think functionally they work a lot better than what you get from those Chinese knockoffs. However, these are around $100, $120, something like that. Those Chinese knockoffs are usually around uh, $30 to $50, depending on where you get them. And you have to wait for shipping from China. These, I believe, are available right now. I'm going to link in the description below the shop where you can snag these. I have no affiliation with the shop. I'm a customer just like you. Uh, I reached out and uh, I purchased several of these bridges as well as some of the Sire units. And overall, I've been very impressed with the quality. They look great. I think it's a nice option versus going the cheap eBay knockoff route and requires much less modification. And up at the headstock, I only mentioned a little bit, I have Hipshot Ultralight licensed tuners up there. The installation project was rather easy, but you did have to drill a single hole for each tuner to mount them. So keep that in mind. Uh, if you're not handy with a drill, again, this was very easy drilling. You only drill maybe about a quarter inch, if that. It was pretty, pretty easy. Overall, this project wasn't too challenging, and I really enjoyed how it came out. There weren't really any pitfalls or any moments where I was scratching my head or like royally messed anything up. All of this is reversible as well. These EMG pickups and the preamp are all plug and play, so this bass was essentially solderless, which was very nice. I do a lot of soldering, I do a lot of bass stuff, and it's very nice to just plug and play. It's like adult musician Legos. Pretty cool. Would I recommend this mod for you guys out there? Absolutely. The pickups and preamp and everything like that all the way to the jack is completely solderless. The only drilling I had to do was for the bridge as well as for the hip shot tuners. It was very minor drilling and very easy to do. And I am very pleased with the end result. I love this bass, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. This is Project Code Red. We may be seeing more of this in the future, but stay tuned. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord, and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about Project Code Red, my modified Sterling by Music Man Ray 4 double humbucker, new for 2021 in the Candy Apple Red finish. And as always, until we groove again.